Hi, welcome to this video where today we're going to be solving direct variation equation problems. Um, these are problems where we're dealing with the equation y equals kx, where k is the constant of variation, and we're going to need to create the equation before we can actually solve the problem. So follow along with me, grab a pencil and paper or whiteboard and marker, and let's go. First one, it says if y equals 9 when x equals negative 3, find x when y equals 15. So here's what we need to be able to do. We need to be able to figure out what the actual equation is. So we use the formula of y equals kx because that's what a direct variation is. We use the first part of the problem. So it says if y equals 9 when x equals negative 3. We go ahead and we substitute those values in. We plug in a 9 for the y and we plug in an x for the negative 3. And we do this to solve for k. And if I divide both sides by negative 3, I end up getting k equals negative 3. That lets me then write my equation. My equation is y equals negative 3x. Once I find the value of k from my first part of my equation, I can then do the second part. The second part says find x when y equals 15. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to figure out what the x value is when 15 goes in for y. Divide both sides by negative 3. I'm going to end up getting x equals negative 5. That's it. That's how easy it is to solve a direct variation equation. Let's try the next one. If y equals 15 when x equals 12. So that's my first part. y equals 15 when x equals 12. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in a 15 for y, a 12 for x. I'm going to go ahead and solve for k, so I need to divide both sides by 12. Now, 15 over 12 simplifies to 5 fourths, which is my k value. It could also be 1.25. I'm going to use that k value to write my equation of y equals uh, 5 fourths x. And now I'm going to do the second part. The second part of my problem says find y when x equals 32. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to plug in a 32 for x. Now this one's a little different because look, the first one said find x. Second one says find y. So we just have to make sure we're plugging in our numbers exactly where it tells us to do, and then we're good to go. Um, 5, time, 5 fourths times 32 ends up being 40, and that's my answer, y equals 40. Let's try a couple more. If y equals negative 11 when x equals 6, so if y equals negative 11 when x equals 6, I'm going to plug in negative 11 for y, x is 6. I want to solve for k, divide both sides by 6. I'm going to leave it as this simplified and proper fraction, negative 11, 6. Now I'm going to be able to do my second part. My second part says find x when y equals 3. So I'm going to go ahead, plug in a 3 for my y. Now remember solving this one-step equation to undo the negative 11 6. We multiply both sides by the reciprocal of negative 6 11 Negative 6 11 times 3 is negative 18 11 Last one, if y equals 0 0.5 when x equals 4, so if y equals 0 0.5 when x equals 4, so I'm going to go ahead and substitute that in. I want to solve for k. Divide both sides by 4. k is equal to 0 0.125, or you can call it 1 eighth. Now I can write my equation. So my equation is y equals 0 0.125x. Now I can do the second part. Find y when x equals negative 3. And 0 0.125 times negative 3 is negative 0 0.375. That's it. I hope this video was easy for you. If you need help graphing direct variation equations, I have a different video for that. Thanks for watching.